All right, guys, part two of the Audi Coupe Quattro tubular subframe. So this is the original uh, fixture that I made up, and it got us to a point where I was able to, to make a few and have some revisions on them and more revisions and also some other test pieces uh, that were like just singular one-sided trying to figure out the control arm stuff um, and revisions on that but kind of wanted to upgrade and make things easier for uh, producing multiple of them uh, and make it so that they're accurate from one to another one to another uh, just because you know there's some flexibility and mounting and everything in this that could cause it to be off by uh, 16th or whatever like that so wanted to upgrade and this is where we got right here so um, it's a full fab table well not full but it's this size um, and then I also got some pieces cut out so that it holds the subframe points perfectly with uh, solid 16 millimeter uh, bolt locations. And then, uh, so this will hold subframe to body locations. And then additional components get bolted on for the control arm locations and uh, transmission mounts. So let's get into it. Okay guys, here we are. The final stages of assembly after all the fixture stuff has been worked out, fabricated, and completed. So uh, let's start assembling this thing uh, one piece at a time. Uh, first we have to start out by uh, finishing the welds on the transmission mount for the uh, passenger side. So let's quick weld that together, then we'll put it on the plate bolt it down to the fixture, and then continue on to the next piece. Okay, well we let that cool down because it's about a thousand degrees now, um, or a million, whatever it is. It's pretty hot. Um, we'll start working on this side, which is the driver's side. So everything's kind of right is left and left is right because this is upside down. So the subframe when it's assembled will actually be flipped and put into place. So, but the way that you have to jig it, it's just easier to make the picture this way instead of making left is left and right is right. So that might be confusing for a little bit, but we'll work for it. So let's work on putting the points that are going to be contacting to the subframe um, bushings. So these are solid subframe bushings. Um, that's what we'll be using on the car. Uh, so it uses this on the fixture as well. Next over here, we've got this guide and this guide that holds this tube in place. And this hose clamp
helps hold the uh, tube tight to the fixture. It's already saddled in there pretty good. This point and this point, but the uh, extra clamping force just helps with uh, when it's being welded in, making sure it doesn't walk or flex a little bit. Now we'll do the control arms tabs. These are what the control arm tabs look like. Nice and thick. Welded nut. So these are nice and square in here because the fixture holds it square. Uh, they got a nice tight, nice tight tolerance right here for the welds. They'll be welded on each side. And then uh, we'll most likely be doing a gusset here. Um, just kind of want to get it all together and uh, see how it looks before we slap that in there. Because um, that's definitely something that can be outside of fixture realm. Okay. So same for this side. Same deal. Goes in nice. I mean, there's no tight spots or misalignments. A little bit of snug at the end to make sure that's all square. Alright, now our transmission mount for the driver's side. So this is the plate that holds, the fixture plate that holds it so the proper height and where these holes line up, which are actually for the subframe mount. And this is a Verklin, Verklin product. Uh, this is what I'll be shipping with the kits. Uh, they're nice aluminum and then um, a nice stiff bushing. So a little bit of absorption, um, but a nice stiff one. So, and then once taken off the fixture table, once this is welded here and taken off the fixture table, there's an additional support, but this can't be welded on during it because the fixture table is in the way, but that's quite fine because it'll be nice and welded all along here and all along here. So here's bolts to make sure it's held in place. Okay, so that side's complete. So everything just needs to be welded at this point and then pulled off the fixture. Uh, once this side's done, welded, and then the connecting piece is done. So this has gotten down to an okay temperature. So this one has to be, for the transmission mount, this one has to be put on this plate before the tube can go because the tube rests across here. Still need to block it though, still hot enough. And we'll definitely let that cool all the way before uh, before the welds are put on to the two, so that uh, there's no flex and heat pulling. All of this is chromoly as well. So the welds turn out really nice. Can't complain there. Um, super strong and uh, lighter. Uh, so a strength to weight ratio is way better and against like a DOM. Um, it's, uh, it's just a little feature that is nice to keep in mind. So again, here's the tube that we're gonna lay on the other side or on this side, just like we did the other side. This one also has another hose clamp that goes into this guide of the fixture. Um, same purpose, same idea. 
This one falls in that saddle. This saddle. Really nice fitment here. Nice fitment here. Really nice fitment here. I'll, uh, I'll get some other angles with it so I can crop it in there. So, same thing, uh, control arm tabs, welded nuts, nice and thick, uh, beveled so that they had really nice fitment. Before welding, I like to place these little friction or these clamps down. Hold together against our saddle here. Make sure it's not pulling, well pulling and everything else. Seems to be the biggest thing with doing fixtures is the weld hole. Okay, we got our uh, clamp. It's all on. Everything's bolted down, nice and snug. No weld pulls gonna happen. I'm gonna take and uh, weld the majority of it up, and then make the cross member bar that goes underneath the oil pan, so that we can have that stock oil pan and stock engine and the in the location with the motor mounts. They're gonna be made by us as well. So I'll get that all done and we'll go from there. All right, we got everything uh, welded, partially or fully. Uh, this thing's almost fully welded. Just gotta weld the back side there and then weld the underside. Um, a lot of this stuff would be nice to flip and twist around in order to get good welds on it, uh, just better angles. So everything's welded partially. I'm gonna let it cool to good room temperature and then unbolt it. That way we don't have any pulling or um, heat shrinking and expanding issues. So let it cool down and we'll go from there. Well, we're finally here. We finally have a subframe after many renditions, uh, versions to make sure it's proper. It's got all the mounts, all the tabs, and uh, it's ready for some good thorough testing. So uh, let's get a better look at this thing. Okay, so as we've seen before, this is where it connects to the actual subframe. And back there too. This is one of the, uh, this is driver's side, transmission mount. Passenger side transmission mount, control arm tab, control arm tab, 
another control arm tab, another control arm tab. So there's the cross member, and the engine will sit right in there. So before I can mount the engine, uh, I'll have to do motor mounts, which I already have uh, ones that are configured to the right sizing and shape. So that shouldn't be too hard to uh, quickly remake those. And those have been through some thorough testing, so um, I don't have any qualms about jumping those right into right into the piece. So we'll do that, and then um, we'll get some official fitment around the lower bar, uh, even though it already uh, fits the criteria of dimensions for what was tested on the red Audi. Um, this one's just a, a better situation, so. Okay, so to conclude this uh, episode um, about the subframe being complete and everything, is that if anybody is really close to having um, an 07K swapped small chassis Audi and they want this subframe, please reach out to me. Um, I'll have an uh, email listed below here. Um, that way you can reach out to redirect. Everybody should have email. It's a pretty basic thing in the world today now. Um, and I, that way I can keep it organized. So if you're interested in having one, please email me and let me know your information. If you're really close to having a swap complete and you want one of these, let me know that because I am looking for uh, beta testers or prototype testers um, and I want to get those ones out first so that um, you can get them on the cars, test fit them, everything like that. Um, let me know if there's any improvements that you think could be made. Uh, or if there's any issues, etc., etc. Um, this is a small batch manufacturing type situation, so um, I'm certainly not going to be pumping out thousands of these. Uh, I'm going to be pumping them out uh, pretty much as requested, as they're ordered. Um, so I will need some decent lead time, uh, but the jig is all fixture is all um, set up, so that's going to help. Uh, that turnaround time go a lot quicker. It's going to help everything um, be really accurate from one to another. Uh, so again, I want to get those beta tester ones out so that if there's any fitments between cars that I need to know about, then I can make those adjustments before uh, I produce more of them. So uh, let me know. Again, email link here. And uh, go from there. So thank you for tuning in. Um, keep on looking for more videos. Uh, I got a bunch more stuff being done on this, including the 07K uh, turbo engine build. A lot of those parts have came in. Uh, that project was kind of pushed off to the side to try to complete this because I know there's a lot of guys that are looking for this. So I, I think I'll still be pushing this onto the top of the list with having the motor mounts done because I do have an 07K that I can swap in here and do some final fitment videos so that everybody can see how it fits around the uh, stock oil pan of the 07K and how the 07K fits into the actual engine bay. Um, so more guys that are interested in doing the swap, we can uh, keep them motivated and keep them going. Uh, it keeps me going as well. I'm just as busy as you guys are and project cars are project cars. so. Um, Let's keep the forward progress going and uh, we'll go from there. All right, thanks, see ya.